Hello, my name is Ray and I am an actor and as an actor there are a range of tools that I use in my process for developing a character and one of these tools is Larvin's Eight Efforts. The Larvin Efforts can inspire the way that you move, breathe, speak, basically they can inspire everything, that's why they're so useful and today I'm going to teach you how to use them. But before we get to the good stuff, a bit of history. The Larvin Efforts were created by Rudolf Larvin, a dance theorist and teacher born in Slovakia in 1879. He is considered one of the most important figures in the history of dance. He worked in many European countries, including England, where he founded the Larvin Art of Movement Guild, now known as Trinity Larvin Conservatoire of Dance and Music. He was interested in the way humans move in comparison to the space around them. He created the Larvin Efforts originally for dance, however it is now used in all performance, including making a character. The first thing to know is that each effort is made up of a combination of three elements. There are three pairs of elements. Weight can be light or strong. Light moving with ease, no resistance, no barriers, free from gravity, or strong, needing to overcome resistance. It's intense, like moving through dense sand or mud. And space can be direct or flexible. Direct, full of purpose, full of focus, moving from point A to point B. Or flexible, no focus, no purpose, moving impulsively, open to be affected. You allow things to just happen. Time or tempo can be sustained or broken. Sustained, flowing seamlessly like water, continuous and unbroken, round, curved, soft, or broken. Movement is fast, angular, abrupt, always with renewed energy. So if we combine three different elements, in theory they should make up a new effort, giving us a new way to behave. Let's give it a go. Dabbing. If your weight becomes light, time becomes broken, and your movement into weight becomes direct, you dab. Dabbing. But not actual dabbing, okay? Flicking. So if your weight becomes light, your time becomes broken, and your movement into space becomes flexible, you flick. Flicking. Floating. If your weight becomes light, time becomes sustained, and movement into weight becomes flexible, you float. Floating. Punching, thrusting. If your weight becomes strong, time becomes broken, and your movement into space becomes direct, you punch or thrust. Punching, thrusting. Ringing. If your weight becomes strong, time becomes sustained, and movement into space becomes flexible, you ring. Ringing. Gliding. If your weight becomes light, your time becomes sustained, and your movement into space becomes direct, you glide. Gliding. Pressing. If your weight becomes strong, time becomes sustained, and your movement into space becomes direct, you press. Pressing. Slashing. And finally, if your weight becomes strong, time becomes broken, and your movement into space becomes flexible, you slash. Slashing.
Well, that's just about it for now. I hope you've been trying it out yourselves. Larvin's eight efforts are probably just about the most amount of fun that you can have in a rehearsal space, but they do have their practical uses too. Now that you know all of the efforts, I will demonstrate how they can be used in performance. In this short scene, see if you can figure out which effort I am using to portray my character. The house is a tick. What have you been doing all day? Pressing. <laughs> 